Hello everyone and welcome back to Kai's Reich. We're playing the Ottoman Empire and this is not the world that we left each other in. Now, it's June 28th, 1948 and this is the world. So, I'll be honest, my enthusiasm for this campaign and this episode isn't super high. I've been playing this for quite a while and I really did not want to go to war with a third international that involves the Soviet Union, basically German now, Germany, France, uh, Italy, the, the, basically the UK. You know, I don't think America actually ever joined. Yeah, they never joined the Third International, but, you know, honestly, we were going to lose anyways. But I don't, I don't want to fight them. So, in exchange, I pieced, well, I pieced them out, yeah, except for the African states, because at this point, I don't really care about Africa. I took the hit anyways and fixed the stability in Warsport, which is still pretty not pretty not high. And I gave them the Don Koban Union. I gave them all of the Ukraine. So, in the end, I was left fighting Austria, which is something I kind of wanted anyways. So, I had these cons commands. Oh well, it is what it is. I just did not want to fight the Third International. And actually, as I was actually recording this before, like 1945, 1946. But then we had the elections, and we became conservatives. Because and then uh, we're locked out of this path now. So, in the elections in 1946, kind of screwed up this path because I said I wanted to finish the focus tree, but screw us, you know. I, there's nothing we could do, right? I mean, there's nothing I could do with this. I mean, I could use consequence like the, do focus dot like no checks and focus autocomplete, but I don't want to use consequence anymore, man. Like really, this is we were we ah we were we couldn't go down this way because we the had the conservatives won, and we're going down this way, which is cool and all because some of you, some of you guys actually wanted it, and which is fine with me. But we can do this, but every own state unrest will increase. But when it became conservative, oh, let's look at this. Look at the occupied territories. 100% in Basra, or whatever that is. 100% in Beirut, again. Or close to 100%. And you know what? With being social conservative, you can't lower the unrest. I'm not sure what to do with this. I mean, we've been doing okay. Because I've actually had to mobilize and get to, like, all the serve. But we started off authoritarian Democrat, then social liberal. And what you could lower taxes to, like, lower unrest. But a social conservative, there's nothing here. What's going, what's going on? I don't understand this. Uh, these guys are very high as well. I mean, Beirut. Earlier, we had these cord. They were low to none, like, resistance. But through doing decisions and the focuses, which cause more unrest, you can't fix this. You can't lower the unrest. There's nothing you can do with this. So, I've said it before, and I don't want to rage anymore, but it just... I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, but, as you can see from the title, this is the final episode of this campaign, and I've been at war with the Austrians for so long. I mean, they have quite a few divisions. We took out Greece, I took out Serbia, I actually annexed Bulgaria, because if you look at this, at the end of the last episode, the Reich's Pact was destroyed, so they actually left the faction, so we've been able to piece out most countries individually by, like, Bulgaria and Albania. I'm not sure why Greece didn't do that, or Serbia, even though I took them out already, but I basically released Bulgaria as a puppet, which screwed up my alliance for quite a while. Uh, but then I decided to just keep at Albania. Just... Is this a core? No, it's a colony state. Okay. But I was just like, I am... I'm... I think we're almost done here. We're almost done here. Because this is... This this campaign has been taxing my sanity quite a bit. And actually, we have heavy tanks, too. Look at that. Beautiful little heavy tanks. But yeah, the Austrians, I mean... Just pull out a little bit, and then they just start wailing on the line. And actually, I've been able to build up a small little air force. Because at the end of the last episode, we saw... That we weren't doing so well with our Air Force. So we actually have some planes now. Of course, it does help if you like play for two years off screen and you make a few extra planes here and there. So we got some fighters. Oh, I should probably just make some modern tanks. Heavy tanks, that's good enough. Modern tanks, I don't think it really matter at this point. But you know what? It is what it is. Uh, boom, there you go. Not bad. Go ahead and uh, get rid of that and go here. Cool. Go ahead and replace one of these heavy armor dudes with. Modern tank. Pretty good. And I did throw some anti-air in there. We were running out of manpower actually for a while. And I've been building up a lot of infrastructure too. So I do want to do a general attack. But at this point, I don't trust my Ottoman army. I mean, I'll play Ottoman Kaiserreich again someday. Not any day soon. But it's been very eye-opening to see how you can play the Ottomans in Kaiserreich. Just because I've actually been playing... At the time of this recording, I've been playing a lot of Ottomans. Like, the Battle for the Bosphorus DLC came out. So... I played a Cirque once, maybe twice. I played as the Kaiserreich Ottomans here. The only other time I'm going to play as Ottomans anytime soon would be, probably be Victoria too. But even then, I don't know if I'm going to play them anytime soon. I don't know. We'll see what happens. 
I'm a little, maybe a little burned out at the time of this recording with the Turks. I mean, the Turks are fun, but sometimes you got to give the Turks a break. Sometimes they just need to take a, take a nice little siesta, even though I don't, I'm pretty sure they don't call them siestas in Turkey. Turkey or Turkish, so. It is what it is. Alright. I, I don't, I definitely want to try general attack. I mean, they, they even have, like, mechanized, but they've lost a lot of guys. I mean, look at that. Almost five and a half million. Oh, we've lost quite a few guys, but that's not too bad. The Ethiopians have lost quite a few guys. Oh, the Anton's still fighting? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, the Third International has been pretty peaceful so far, so. I don't know. It is what it is. I, I apologize for using Collins commands, but it's just something we had to do. I, I, I don't want using, I don't like using Collins commands, but if you have to, you have to. We're going to try general attack. But you know what? The election factories, since this is the last episode, anyways, let's revise the Constitution. As Parliament continues to prove a thorn in our sight, the Conservatives are now pushing for the restoration of the right to pro prorogue Parliament without its permission, and as such, give the Sultan the power to push through the necessary reforms without Parliament over parliamentary oversight. For after all, shouldn't the Caliph be able to enact his own decrees and reforms? Every own state, unrest will increase? Well, at this point, I can't really care. I do want to do a general attack, but Romania's not that weak yet. And this is a big old river. I don't want to take over a river, too. But, you know, we might have to. If you all attack there, that might be okay. Well, let's see. How are you? How are the tanks doing? Can you guys attack? Yeah, you can attack and win. I'll keep these guys going. Their organization is not very good. Ah, it's okay, actually. 44, that's better than I saw before. HP is not very high. Armor is pretty good. Breakthrough is just delicious. And, yeah, we're on closed economy. We're on war support. I sp By doing this two or three years after we left the last episode, we've had enough time to get a lot of stuff here. Let's go open seas doctrine, probably. Even though we have a few subs. I still prefer naval speed, screen attack. Now nah, I'll go with that. We actually have more subs than capital ships. I've lost, I lost most of the capital ships already, so. Uh, stretching out their lines is pretty good. Helping our infantry get up there, too. I mean, he's level 3. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those things he's working on. If you guys were to attack as well, could you actually win? You might be able to. I mean, Osman, he's level 6. One of the guys has, what, level 9 skill? Level 7? I mean, it's just been crazy. I know over here we won't be able to win. But let's look at air support. I mean, oh wow. They have a lot of planes. Makes sense why they should, so. Ooh, let's go over here. Even if we can't break Romania, breaking into Austria more and more is probably pretty good for us. I'm mean, gonna look at this. They can't even hold us back. I think they're out of manpower, too, so. At this point, I don't know. Alright, at this point, let's go and stop the attacks. Because our soldiers just can't take them. You guys hold. And I'm actually going to make sure everyone gets on the line first. And then we'll throw these guys over here, maybe. Oh, actually, could you do it over here, maybe? The rocket engines are nice. If you guys all help attack, you might be able to win, actually. Maybe? No? Okay, never mind. Alright, let's see. Even more soft attack? Yeah, why not? Are you guys looking pretty good? Oh, their lines are so stretched out now. Romania's not so much, and there's a lot of... There's not a lot of supply over there, so... I'm going to just keep focusing with you guys over here. Hopefully we can take out Vienna or something. Oh, that's fuck what's that? We've lost... Oh, I'm going to say, by the end of this world, we'll, we'll, we will have lost at least a million. So, I can see that definitely happening. Um, do we have any other planes? I should have got rid of a lot of these planes. Oh my goodness. There you go. Oh, Happy Eid. Happy Eid once again. Do we have any other, like, tactical bombers? Because we are using tactical bombers. We got some casts, the naval bombers, which I've been using in the waters. No. We have no extra tactical bombers. Wow. Rocket interceptors, huh? Revising the Constitution. If you'd like to read about this, I'm I'm kind of burnt out on this campaign. But if you'd like to read about it, go right ahead. Why shouldn't the Sultan be able to enact his own reforms? Peculiar, I'd say. And then, oh. Oh, is there something we could do? There's pro-rogue parliament. Ahmed the fourth is currently the leader. Well, bad word. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and not do this one because this one is not very good for us. We lose stability. Screw we'll do it. Enacted the request of the DF. It's all an encouragement of foreign capital is meant to reinvigorate the Ottoman economy, and make it more accessible for foreign investors through principles such as free transfer and national treasure or treatment. Heavy resistance to the bill is uttered by the OHF, however, who see this as a destruction of the national economy model. This is such a mess. I mean, I'm not even angry at it. Like, it, it feels like Kaiserreich Ottomans are just a mess. So we started. 
with the authoritar authoritarian Democrat, and then when we clicked on lift the state of emergency, then we went to social liberals, I'm like, that's really disappointing. That's not cool. We'll work with whatever we got, pretty much. We'd use console commands to get this Grand Vizier one done. And then in 46, we switched over to social conservative, and we can't even do this stuff now. I'd say... Still needs a little bit more polish for these guys. Because there's still nothing we can do down here. I mean, I even put my uh, resistance guys down here. So, and I don't want to move you too much, but if we have to, I suppose. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, my goodness. Wait, I thought I had a person here for Greece. There you go. Try that. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. And it's still that high. Holy smokes. So, I don't know. It's just 100% resistance... It is what it is, whatever, right? Only 100% resistance. Keep going, guys. You're doing a great job. Actually, I'm going to ship the line around. There you go. I could do a defensive front line, which makes it probably easier for us to manage, but whatever. Can't really be bothered to do it. That's okay. You guys looking pretty good. Go ahead and come over here, actually. That'd be good. We're building up a lot more roads. Honestly, anything else? We don't really need too much else. Maybe in factory-wise, I think we're doing pretty okay. Actually, let's go over here. Because I was able to... They're still low. Actually, but you guys are very low. And I did release Azerbaijan just because I don't want to do their, their resistance. Actually, can I grab... No, I can't. He's got a nice uh, facial facial hair, though. So, hmm. I don't know. And Germany did form, so... Or was released by France. Uh, I'll grab you. Why not? What are we missing? Heavy tanks, actually. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. And modern tanks as well. Give about five seconds and I'll let them go. Five, four, two, three, one, go ahead. Okay, death of. Okay, so then we come get Ahmed, Ahmed the fourth. If you want to read about this, good, good luck, Ahmed the fourth. So go right ahead. He's a younger and less steadfast man. Hello. Well, wait. Oh, we need parliamentary prerogative active, and to do this, we need Ahmed the fourth. Sultan prorogues parliament, activates parliamentary propagation, will be prorogued for 150 days. Uh, this is probably not really good to do. But this is the last episode in this campaign anyways, let's do it anyways. Prorogues parliament, most worrying, cool. Honestly, let's see, we got 21 days for that. We have 35, 35, 35, that's 105. Uh, we, don't, we don't have enough time. Yeah, it's good. We're going to rush this one. Revert social reforms? Why not? Why not? There we go. Not bad. Doesn't matter to me at this point. But whenever I come back, like I said, I will have a much better understanding of how to do this. Yep. Hopefully you can attack there and do well, maybe. Maybe not. Give him a little bit more uh, oomph. There you go. There you go. Break over that river. You guys actually do well there, maybe? Maybe not. How's oh, Romania doing? Are they attacking us? No, they're not. That's a good thing. Help out. Help out. Nice. We got a good old breakthrough over the river. And maybe close to Budapest. Three-ish. How many are we making? Hey, we're good on those. That's not bad. Light tanks aren't bad either. Actually, for these heavy divisions, we did put some armored recon on them. Anti-air, we got some engineers. Maintenance companies, all the good stuff. Well, would you look at that? Our destroyer was sunk. And another destroyer was sunk. What are you doing around here, uh, Austria? And I did take some of my puppets' divisions around so they stopped sucking up the supply around here, and I kind of forgot about them. I'm not going to lie. I forgot about them. It's all right. Keep going, guys. Keep going. We could try a general attack. Actually, I mean, we'll we'll, if we do this, we'll capitulate Austria pretty quickly. Romania, not so much. Everyone else... Pretty much so. Nice. Do we have any more ships? Nope. You're still level 4. Nothing there. Actually, what ships are still alive? We got a battle cruiser, battle cruiser, battle cruiser, and two escort cruisers. Not really that great, but whatever. This is just painful to look at. Yeah, no, you're done attacking. You wanna read about this? Go right. Go right ahead. Just wait until Constantinople is no longer under us. Ooh, that is not looking good. 
I'm gonna grab and force Macelle, which we got rid of before, I think. But because the game is... Oh, shnikes, very high there. That's not good. <sighs> ah, gotta love it. Alright, screw this. I'm, we're just going in. I'm going in. Screw it, just screw it. I'm tired of waiting. I, I don't want to wait any longer. I've been playing this for like three hours, actually. But... <sighs> screw these guys. Um, I'm just going to fully annex Romania. I'm going to probably just fully annex all these guys too, probably. Because I'm, 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 I'll be honest, I'm just a little tired of it, as you can tell from my voice. I'm just tired of this campaign. Good, go for VN if you can't. Eh, more factors, not bad, but we don't have the steel for it, so I'm not going to really use them. Is there anything that doesn't use steel besides planes? No, we could always use more planes, I guess, so that'd be good. There you go. Would you guys like to take the capital of the uh, Austro-Hungarian Empire? That'd probably be smart to do. What's Romania doing? Mikhail? Half a million? Well, actually. 58, 55. It's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Slowly getting him done and dealt with. Prague will probably come to the capital after Budapest. No, Budapest is already taken. Wait, where's the capital? Wait, hold on. Bierno? No. Stanislaw? Oh, did, oh supplement. Nice. Good luck, guys. I know we're killing off a lot of our soldiers here, but it is what it is. Uh... Yeah, got all this done, too. Nice. A lot of resistance, probably. We only have one nuclear reactor, but it is what it is. Uh, come on. Come on, Romania. Just give up. There's literally no point for you to fight anymore. Why are you fighting on the side of the Austrians? Makes no sense, man. Oh, there's Prague. Just go up straight to Prague. Because we have to deal with the Austrians. A little bit of lag, alright, well, whatever. This is unfortunate to kill off our own man like this. But the only way to get our guys to actually move is to force the attack, so. I apologize. I do apologize for that. Yeah, no. Go eat a rattlesnake. I'm not even using anti tank. Look at that, beautiful. There we go, we got Prague. Or Praha. And where's the next capital? Krakow, probably. Nice, even better. Yep, I was correct. Krakow it is. Integrity convoy defense. Um, as you can see, we've done all of this. We've done the entire air doctrine. Plane wise, look at some jet engines, I guess. Why not? It doesn't really matter anymore. It's not like we can even get war support. Like, there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing. Hey, there goes Austria. There we go. So dumb. I'm not sure why they didn't capitulate earlier, but I'll just take everything for now. Demobilize, ease of conscription, return Bulgarian lands. What do we do with that? Well, hold on. Whatever we have cores on, I don't want to give them, so. It's kind of ugly, but whatever. Enforce the Macelle. Eh. They cancel the Nagrashan Pact. Well, let's see about this. Actually, you know what? Let's get this one done first and then desecularize the army. Maybe we'll get it done. Maybe. Oh, well. I do have a cup of coffee to keep us nice and warm, though. And this we're done and being at war for now. And for us myself, desecularize the army infiltrated by the Kamal Stu Stooches and secular us. The armed forces of our Grand Caliphate have been besmirched by the bad moral reputation. Furthermore, they hang over our heads as a sword of Damocles, as it proved in 1909, when they brutally repressed our predecessors during a peaceful demonstration in the capital. They're mostly torn out if we create a new Ottoman state. We might as well see what happens here. Let's grab some of this too. Please don't go to war with me, guys. Cap Cameroon? What the heck? Um, well, it's kind of a mess down there. I'm going to go and do that just because it just fits in. Greek boys, huh? As a republic? As a kingdom? Hmm. Let's go with a kingdom. Maybe we could, you know, marry with them later on. Oh, they're looking kind of small around here. Status of Salonika? Oh. 
Northern Epirus. Give it to our allies? I mean, why didn't you just give it to them earlier? <laughs> Whatever, game. Whatever. Return Greek lands? Which ones? I mean, why don't we just give that to them originally? I don't think we have... I mean, this is not like Victoria 2, like 1836. We have no use for these islands. I mean, they're not going to get, like, Crete or anything. Or... Oh, well, I guess I got Crete back. I mean, we don't even have claims on them, so what's the point of us owning them? There's no point. All right, let's see. Uh, Serbia. Serbia. Liberate Yugoslavia. Liberate them. How about Yugoslavia? I kind of like Yugoslavia. Direct rule from Constantinople or Constantia. There we go. Give me your men. Romania. I did say I want to annex them fully, but... Eh, well, let's give it a few more days. And the Caliphate of Old. When the armies of Islam knocked on the gates of Vienna, none questioned the might of the Ottoman Empire and, the cali and its caliph. Now look at us, suffering defeat after defeat. The empire has been dismantled by the follower of the cross, while abroad our Muslim brethren are being coerced into cheap Western imitation and complacency. Refusing to recognize their roots under our caliph, we shall show them the true path. Handling the armed forces, cut the head off the snake. Cool. And then public elections. Blood of bureaucracy. We still have that one, huh? For every member joining the association, this modifier will be increased. Or the... Well, I guess we have... So a couple other modifiers in there. Military purge. Agricultural modernization. Council non aggression pact. Natural production law. Private initiative. Bloated bureaucracy, which we still have, which kind of sucks. Whatever. How many are next? Fine. So be it. So, um. Now what? Oh, the fate of... Okay, so they gave us the fate of all that stuff. Return Romanian lands. I don't know about that. Bohemia. Hmm. Trentino. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I guess I can't give it to these guys. Dobruzda. Oh, who do we give it to? Bohemia, Bulgaria. We'll give it to Bulgaria, because I don't like the Romanians. The Bulgarians we didn't like earlier, and I took them out much earlier, but they've been pacified at this point. That doesn't even matter. Return Romanian lands. Hungarian lands. Fate of Hungary. Minimal Hungarian state? We could do military occupation. We're going to release a greater Hungary. Because I really don't like the Austrians right now. So the Hungary, Hungarians can be... Oh my gosh, now that's a thick Hungary. I like that. I'm glad Kaiser can still like at least have these options. Which makes sense. So that they can have like any pizza that happens here. So. Fate of Galicia? Fate of Bohemia? We're going to go to the Czech state. Well, we definitely went past Vienna now. Happy 1949. It's been one hell of a campaign. And, yeah, you must do that. I don't want to deal with the resistance. We already have enough resistance. So, how do we release Albania? Um, what about this stuff? Bukovina? Give it to Romania. I'm not giving it to Romania. Galicia and Lodomeria deserves it. Split it? No. The Romanians do not deserve squat from us. Down with the Romanians. And let's at least get this Caliphate of Old, and then we'll call it a campaign. Actually, who's leading this group? You're led by... Wilhelm Milkas. Hello! East, East von Bethlen. Bethlen. And you guys are led by Mr. Jan Palpeter. You guys are led by Lucas Lewandowski. And Romania is led by Mikhail I, and then Peter II. Not bad. Not great. The stumbling economy. If you want to read this about this, go right ahead. Um, trade carefully. I don't care. I need to bail them out. Sure, whatever. Do we get an event about anything? Istanbul pack is looking pretty nice. But I do apologize for using cons commands earlier. It just... I don't want to deal with that. I, as you saw earlier in this campaign, I don't want to get too raging. Did we actually get back to where we started? Oh, no. Come on. Oh, we... Oh, my... God, are you serious? Okay. So, we started off authoritarian Democrat. And then, we went to social liberal. I think we were, we were either that or maybe we were the military government. We probably were actually the military government. So, then we were social liberal. And then, we have an election. We go to social conservative. And then, we just go back to the caliphate of old. 
We've literally come full circle. Now it's only 1949, but... Okay then, whatever! I mean, if, if we stayed authoritarian democrat or paternal autocrat, we actually would probably would have been able to do a lot better. Since it took me a while to figure out how to do everything, but at that point I figured out how to, I learned and knew what to do, so then we actually were being pretty successful. They pull back. You don't get a pull back whenever you want. No, 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 no. But regardless, this is a good reminder for me whenever I come back to play as Kaiserreich Ottomans someday and actually do a proper path of probably doing social liberals or whatever. Whatever it is. But regardless, if you found some sort of enjoyment in this campaign, <laughs> consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow in a different campaign. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great, great, tremendous rest of your day.